All right. Another topic here. All right. So T.S. Madison will be on Jason Lee's show uh, for a sit-down interview on the Jason Lee experience. So she said she's going to be on Jason Lee's show. They're going to be talking about Jess Hilarious, Tasha K, so many other people. And people are saying, but why have she never did a sit-down interview with Armand Wiggins? Like, or why haven't Armand did it? I don't know. But she have definitely done that. But then Armand be telling folks, you can't be friends with me if you hang out with my ops. And clearly, the, the ops hanging out with the ops anyway. But she's doing an interview with Jason Lee, and that's her prerogative. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do a show with Jason Lee and 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 all of that, that's fine. But people say, but what about Armand Wiggins and T.S. Madison? Why they're not doing the show? Because they supposed to be cool. They supposed to be friends. They supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, mother and son, brothers, brother and sister, sister and brother, bro and sister. Um why they're not doing a show together. So they have not done it, but at the at, at the time we we we're going to see uh 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 we, we're going to see how this going to play out with Jason Lee and TS Madison and I'm going to review it. And I didn't and Jason, I know we talked I got to review your Adam 22 or some got to review that episode. I'm kind of behind on your shows. So I'll be reviewing that tomorrow. That interview I'll review it tomorrow because I do like to cover your show, even though Armand told me not to cover your show. But nevertheless, we're going to cover your show. OK. I'm going to tell you this again. We're going to cover your show. We're going to cover T.S. Madison show uh, too, even though T.S. Madison says she don't like me or whatever. And T.S. Madison is so cheap. And this is the thing about T.S. Madison. A couple of weeks ago, she was fighting with the, the car service. Y'all didn't pick up my bags. I didn't have no bags, sir. Cussing the folks out belittering the people because she wanted to show with 55 bags. And I guess it's a certain limit of bags. And she said she going to deduct it off her car. She is so cheap. Now she supposed to be so rich and booked and rich and arguing over some bags with that deep voice of hers, arguing with some bags. And I saw that video and I was upset about that. I hope he bring up with her being so cheap and belittling people on her show with some bags. And then she told her credit card, lying to them, telling her, telling them it was fraud when because they charged her because she had 55,000 bags. Okay. Y'all did it to these bags. I got all these bags. Sounded like the big show from WWE. I mean, I had to turn that now, all that yelling at the people. And the man was like, okay, let me tell you right did it on that. If you do it, I have all the three bags and the limit, the limited two bags, and you had about six and eight bags, sir, ma'am, and 68 bags, and you had it. I didn't have no 68 bags. What? Okay, let me just type it up in my computer. We are going to see what the supervisor and the supervisor said to the driver said that you had. But eight to nine bags in eight to nine bags. I don't have no eight to nine bags. Who had eight to nine bags, sir? Tell me how to add eight to And I'm seeing it right then and here. And the, the, and the driver, I'll uh, get into details from the driver. And the driver said that we're going to have eight to nine bags. And you had eight to nine bags in the, the airport. And that's what he did not get to because he violated the rules. And you had more than eight to nine bags. And you said that being all in anger. This is all a lie. And I'm telling all my friends, don't do business with y'all. And she was lying, arguing over because she did that. And then she said, that's why I went on to a black Uber and they helped me with all my bags. You know, you got to have a lot of bags. You got to have your breast bag, you know, breast bag, you know, and your nostril bag, you know, your toys, your video equipment tapes. Anyway, so that's what happened. <laughs> and she got mad. Okay. She got upset. I was like, look at this lady do all this cussing. And with that deep voice, shaking on my phone like that. Uh, Doing all that don't make no sense. And so I can't stand what you can't tell me, but that's what she was doing. She was arguing over some bags. She did a whole show dedicated to that. And she supposed to be so rich. 
arguing over some bags because they didn't want to pick up all them bags. Miss Mary wheelchair, you know her wheelchair, that's going to take up a lot of space. Wheelchair, 55, you got, you got to have a bag for her diabetes medication, her high cholesterol medication. Then you got to have space. She had an oxygen tank, her portable tank. She had about two tanks. Then Miss Mary got a crock pot because she got a feed everybody. She come in contact with. She got Miss Mary got a crock pot and pots and fit food, her crock pots and stuff. Then you got her Holy Bible, books of the Holy Bible. She got the Hebrew version. She got the King James version. She got the American version, the New England version, the African version, all type of versions. Of then you got her Holy Oil. Got different oil. She she got her prayer, her, her prayer towels. Got to have all that. Then she got her gospel music bag with all her gospel artists, the Blind Boys of Alabama, the Shirley Caesar, the Mississippi Mass Choir, all the type of caravans, Shirley Caesar, and also Mahalia Jackson. She got all that type of stuff going on. Then you got Chi Chi. He got his bag of condoms and lubrications. You got Oliver. He got his wigs and cameras. Then you got the African. He got his green cards and, and documentation. It's other identities, other cards. You got all that stuff with you. That's going on. Chi Chi. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. So we're going to move on from that. But nevertheless, she was all about that. But I will cover Jason Lee's show. And we want to say congratulations to T.S. Madison and Jason Lee for doing a sit-down interview on the Jason Lee experience on Revolt. So we're definitely going to be checking out that podcast. And we're also going to be checking out the video show as well. And we're going to watch it. And we're going to break it down to you in person. All right? We're going to talk about that live soon as it drops. Okay? We're definitely going to do that as well. Okay. And press one if you're going to watch the episode. Or press two, you're going to watch my review. <laughs> press one, you're going to watch the episode. Or press two, you're going to watch my review. Let me see with your headspace. Press one, you're going to watch the episode. Or press two, you're just going to watch my review. Press one, you're going to watch the episode. Or press two, you're going to watch my review. Press one, you're going to watch the episode. Or press two, you're going to watch my review. Press one, you're going to watch the episode. Or press two, you're going to watch my review. Press one, you're going to watch the episode. Press two, you're going to watch my review. Press one, you're going to watch the episode. Press two, you're going to watch my review. All right. Okay, how are we doing with the likes? Come on, click the like button, y'all. It's 200. Come on, click that like button. Why? Click that like button, baby. Oh, man. All right. So now we got to talk about our favorite celebrity. All right, let's get our favorite celebrity on the screen here. Our favorite celebrity is on the screen here. Where is he at? Our favorite celebrity. Let me, let, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me see. 